There are many devices in every house that need to be turned on for a limited period of time only. It may be your phone charger, it may be your water pump that fills up the overhead tank, or it may be your coffee machine, and so on. Once turned on, these devices need to be turned off after some time. If you have connected them with smart switches, obviously you can create an automation to turn them off automatically. But if you frequently want to change that on time interval, you need to edit their automation again and again, which may be annoying most of the times. So to simplify this, today I'll show you how to change the on time in your automation from your dashboard only. In other words, we can say it's a dashboard controllable timer switch in Home Assistant. So let's get started. Let's assume that we want to control this electrical socket to which I connect my phone charger overnight. First part here is to create a helper in Home Assistant. For that, open settings, devices and services, and then select helpers. Click this plus sign to create a new helper. From this list, select number. Let's call it phone charger time. Select any icon of your choice. In minimum value field, enter the minimum time in minutes for which you at least want to keep your device on. Let's enter 10 here. In maximum value field, enter the maximum time in minutes to keep your device on. My phone takes less than 2 hours to charge from 0 to 100. 2 hours equals 120 minutes, so I am entering 120 here. Next is the display mode. I will keep it a slider. Let's keep the step size to 5. This means the minimum time interval change in your timer when you move the slider will be of 5 minutes. Now as we are playing with time settings, the unit of measurement in this case is minutes. Now click create to create your helper. Once we have created our new helper called phone charger time, we now need to create an automation where we will use this helper to control our device. Let's do it. The trigger is when the state of our socket is on for say 15 minutes, we will turn off the socket. This is the simple automation that you very well know how to create. The magic here is that instead of giving a fixed time here, we will use our helper for it. For that, click three dots in the trigger section and select edit in YAML. Now in minutes header, delete the number 15 and instead write a template. I have provided this template in the description also but don't forget to change the helper name with your own helper. This template instructs the minute header to take the value from our helper. Now save your automation. For demonstration in this video, I am pasting my helper template in seconds header to keep the time in seconds instead of minutes. Here, backend work is complete. Now let's build the front end for our timer. This is our phone charger socket. 
Let's add our newly created helper and automation controls here. Add the helper entity by typing the name of our helper phone charger time. In next line type the name of the automation that we have just made. That's it. Your timer switch is now ready. Now to use it you first need to select the time just by moving the slider button and then turn on the switch and it will turn off automatically after that set time. See and sometimes if you wish to bypass the timer and want to keep the device on simply turn off its automation here to control it manually. So this was all about our timer switch today which is fully controllable directly from the dashboard. I hope you like this idea. If yes, let me know by hitting the like button below. Consider subscribing my channel if you haven't already to get all future notifications of my videos. So stay connected and we will meet in another exciting video soon. Until then, goodbye.